Hello YouTube, this is Eric Tutorials, and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to create an awesome gradient text uh, like this one. I was just messing around in Cinema 4D and I found this awesome effect that I didn't even expect to find and I just want to share it with you whatever I learned from Cinema 4D I want to share with you guys. That's the pur purpose of my channel. So I'm going to show you guys how to create that. Okay. Um, and the font I'm using is perfect dark so it's just perfect dark that's what it's called uh, you can get it on dafont.com as where you uh, get all of your fonts so let's get to it uh, open up cinema 4d go to file new let's create let's go ahead and create a text so mo graph mo text Let's type in whatever we like, whatever we wanna want it to say. All right. Let's uh, change the align to middle and font. Let's change that to perfect dark. Okay. Uh, that looks pretty good except we need to add some more to uh, to the text we need to edit it a little bit more so go to caps tab and on the start change that to fill it cap and at the end change that to fill it cap and uh, decrease the radius to either 2 or 1 I'll just put it down to 1 uh, Fillet caps give you a nice reflection, so it's always important to use fillet caps. Now let's add a camera. So click on camera right here, add it, and select the camera in the objects menu. And beside it, there's a uh, a black square with a dot in the middle and if you click on it it turns white that means that you are now looking through the view of the camera you're looking through the camera so uh, now let's create some materials let's create a material for the background so double click on the materials tab double click on the material you created uh, go to color go to texture select gradient click on this image right here then type change that to circular then um, double click on the black color uh, keyframe or key whatever it's called and change that to dark gray and double click on the white keyframe and change that to even darker gray maybe a little bit lighter than that okay that looks good and now we can create a background so here in add floor object menu you can uh, select background and drag the new material material you created onto the background okay now let's uh, create lighting and uh, to do that we will need a plane so go to objects menu select plane and uh, enlarge the plane and drag this over the text now let's create another material double click on the materials tab double click on the new material you created uh, select luminance and drag this material over the plane and we have to create another material for the text so again double click on the materials tab and uh, select the material here let's change the color no actually let's give the color exactly the same as it is and let's select a reflection go to texture and select Fresnel and drag that onto the text Okay, now let's uh, 
That is my parrot flying here. He's a little bit annoying. Uh, get out of here. Okay, uh, now let's go to Edit Render Settings and select Effect Ambient Occlusion, Effect, select Global, global Illumination and select Global Illumination, go to Iridense Catch and Stochastic Samples, ch uh, change that to Low Record Density, change that to also Low and that will decrease the amount of render time and if you like uh, nice shadows so that they uh, it looks kind of messed up when the shadows are uh, not set on high settings. You can change that. You can improve that by uh, increasing the maximum samples in ambient occlusion and uh, increasing the minimum samples in also ambient occlusion. So that will improve the shadows. So now that we're done with that, let's render and see what we have got what we have created. So as you can see it looks pretty nice. There's some things we have to improve such as this plane. It has to be uh, invisible and also the background is a little bit too bright. So let's let's double look on the material that we put on our background and go to color, gradient and uh, go on the lighter gray and change that to a little bit of a darker gray and go to the darker gray and change that to even more darker gray okay and let's see what we have got let's render this yeah that's pretty close in my opinion that looks pretty good uh, now let's solve the problem with our plane here and uh, yeah so click on the plane in the objects menu right click go to cinema 4D tags go to compositing deselect receive shadows and select scene by camera my parrot is really annoying me I'm sorry about that <laughs> let's render this and see what we have got Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, you can keyframe it, animate it. Um, let's just do a quick animation of this text. So select the text, uh, hit keyframe button right here on frame zero and then drag this keyframe, this blue little keyframe, drag it to uh, maybe frame 50 and go back to frame zero and uh, drag the text backwards and add the keyframe, add a keyframe and then uh, let's go back with the camera uh, let's just roll back right like that and uh, select the camera and maybe go actually we need to drag the text a little bit farther but that's after I keyframe the camera so make sure you have the camera selected and centered and uh, keyframe the camera. So hit keyframe. Now let's go back to our text and let's zoom out and let's drag the text all the way back. Make sure you're on frame zero while doing this and keyframe it. Now if we go back to frame zero you can't see the text until it comes in to the view. So that looks pretty cool. Thank you guys for watching. This tutorial will be a part of another tutorial um, on how to do a 3D text transition, 3D to 2D text transition. That will be an, also ni a nice tutorial and I hope you enjoy this video, I hope you learned something from this and yeah, thank you guys for watching, please subscribe if you haven't, please thumbs up the video if you liked it and see you guys later.